Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the characteristics of compound generator. Up to now, we discussed about the different different types of generators that is series generator and shunt generator like that. Now, we will entering into the compound generator. So, no name itself compound means it is a combination of series as well as shunt windings. It is combination of series winding as well as the shunt winding. So look at here. This is the DC generator. So A and A A. This is the armature. For this seriously connected a flux is there. This is the series flux. For the armature we have the shunt winding that is the shunt flux. And so we are connecting a load we are connecting a load to this and this is the switch to measure the load voltage it is a voltmeter to measure the current it is a ammeter okay but this flux can be generally these compound generator is two types one is cumulative compound cumulative compound and other one is differential compound what is the cumulative compound so name itself cumulative means addition simply addition means plus will be added that means we have two fluxes that is the shunt flux as well as series flux both will be added then we will get the total flux then this is called the cumulative compound generator we have another type that is the differential compound generator differential compound generator means shunt flux and series flux both will be differenced that means the flux equal to shunt flux minus series flux will become the total flux in this case the flux will be more flux because these shunt winding flux series winding flux will be added here the flux will be less value because shunt winding flux series winding flux both are different that's why this is the that's why this is the less flux it consisting of the more flux it consisting of the less flux okay if we look at the characteristics that means we have to look at the load voltage with the load current when we are increasing the load current the change in the load voltage we have to discuss here generally generally we have more number of we have different different number of dc generators are available here we and we have the another yeah so we have different different types of generators are available generally we can divide these generators are like this one is whenever it will depend on the compound also so we can divide some other compound generators those are over compound generators some different classification is available and second one is the flat compound generators and third one is the under compound generators under compound generators here over compound means it is highly compounded machine that means the load voltage is more than the induced emf next flat compound generator is the load voltage is equal to the induced emf under compound generator the load voltage is less than the induced emf so the classification of compound generators are so in this case so here the first one is flat compound generator that is v equal to e so here the induced emf and the voltage both are same by varying the load current in the x axis we are varying the we are increasing the load current il and both induced emf and load voltage will be same approximately same what about flat compound generator here flat compound generator means when the load current is increases when the load current is increases 
the voltage will be high the voltage will be high in this case we can name it as v greater than e okay next what is the under compound generator under compound generator this is the under compound generator v less than e this is the over compound generator this is the flat compound generator this curve is the under compound generator over compound always more than the induced emf flat compound e means the voltage and induced emf both are same under compound means here the rated voltage and the induced emf rated voltage is less than the induced emf and next if you are using the separately excited generator that will be like this separately excited dc generator curve is the orange curve separately excited generator means we have separate supply for the exciting the flux and shunt exciter shunt exciter that means shunt machine if we are using the shunt exciter that will be like this okay what is this point this point is the rated armature current that means rated current it will be worked at the particular point this is the emf okay so these are the different different characteristics regarding the different compound generators so generally these are the types and this is the classification how can we define this over con over compound means this is the cumulative cumulative and under compound means this is the differential because flux value is decreases okay right so this is about the characteristics of the compound generator and some of the important characteristics and for the different compound generators and separately excited and shunt excited by by varying the load current with respect to the voltage okay next we have some applications regarding the these compound generators so in this first application in this first application over compound generators are used in long transmission lines what is the meaning of over compound generators the load voltage must be greater than the induced emf this must and should be used in long transmission lines how by by using this we will get the we can increase the load voltage more than the induced emf here so the over the for example if you take this is the long transmission line and this is the if you connect the over to over compound this is the one over compound generator and this is the another over compound generator generators okay just we are connecting parallel with this long transmission line then the the voltage will be high the reduced voltage will be we can increases okay that means it can compensate the voltage right second differential compound generators are used in welding because it's limit the short circuit current so this is very very important point generally in the welding machines you know that in order to get some arc we required more current it re require the more current that's why it require more voltage and less current like that so in that differential compound generators are very much useful used in welding because it so limit the short circuit current right that means here we have the thing that the short circuit current will be produces that will limit the the short circuit current okay how can we limit this we can write like this generally generated voltage we have some rated load voltage plus armature drop generally what happen under short circuit condition short circuit condition the load voltage will become zero then e generated eg equal to ia and ra so generally this ia ra is nothing but ish and the ra yeah from this we can write 
short circuit current equal generated by armature current okay generally the generated emf is proportional to the it is shunt minus series that means it will be decreases generally then automatically short circuit current will also be decreases okay eg value decreases and the short circuit current will also be decreases by this phenomena we can decrease this we can decrease this okay next flat and under compound generators can be used flat and under compound generators can be used as voltage source auxiliary power supplies and battery charges and lighting purpose these are the different different applications as an exciter to excite the field of synchronous machines so these are generally used as power supply and battery charges lighting purpose these are the different different places we can use it okay next if all dc generators are designed with some rated voltage at rated current then characteristics are below generally characteristics are below so this will be discussed in the next topic okay yeah so in this class the completion of the characteristics of the compound generator and different characteristics some of the applications okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you